when i started um, actually uh, studying about it and when i started reading the lives of people who were being uh, you know made terrorists and how how they are rad- not not even terrorists how are they even radicalized or made cutter so a very interesting um, finding uh, is there i would like to share with you see first what they do is this is a process called separatism extremism and terrorism you know and um, i made it a part of my activism that i explain this process separately that first a muslim mind is made a separatist you know how they do it uh, by telling him or her that you are different from the entire world you know your lifestyle is different your food is different your language is different the way you lead your life the way you think should be different and uh, there is a very long list of haram and halal like i gave you an example in the beginning that a woman who opens her hair it is haram in islam and you know wearing nail paint is haram in islam or maybe wearing a lipstick is haram or like we are doing this video chat you know getting clicked is haram and a very long list of haram and halal which they themselves do not follow but just to make a muslim mind separate from the entire world they uh, put this uh, these seeds of separatism in a muslim mind and music is haram art is haram dance is haram you know anything which makes you or which takes you in a meditative mode which makes you mingle with others which makes you happy is haram because they have to make you aggressive they have to you know use you like foot soldiers to make their dream of islamic state come true so obviously they do not want you to be happy they do not want you to coexist with other people they do not want you to celebrate life that is and they want to make you aggressive that is why they whatever way possible whatever they can whatever they can even think of they would try to separate you from the entire world this is where fatwa comes into picture at times we feel that you know what 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 foolish kind of fatwas they give that hand sanitizer is haram you know in during covid times using sanitizer is haram taking polio drops are haram those kind of fatwas they bring at times people feel that they are doing it because they are illiterate but i would like to reiterate it time and again that they are not doing or uh, throwing these fatwas because they are illiterate they are very smart they want to kill that rationality and that decision making power of a muslim mind you know what a muslim a uh, kid can do they would tell you what a muslim kid cannot do that also they will tell you you know that do's and don'ts should be regulated and controlled by them and and when a muslim mind is so dependent on these do's and don'ts that thinking capability is you know killed you know that confidence is not there to take independent decisions that is why these fatwa brigade they work you know to make a muslim mind separate to to kill the thinking capacity to just make them zombies or to just make them robots you know that is why the separatist process is done and deliberately and with malified intention and with a proper agenda and a very strong thought process is behind it it is not just done randomly or casually or just because they're illiterate so we should not trivialize it by saying that they they're illiterate that's why they're doing it they're doing it very smartly and they know why they're doing it and once a muslim mind is made separatist then the second you know process uh, the, the, the second part of the process comes into picture that is making them extremist you know once you are a separatist then it becomes easier for them to make you an extremist now they would like to make you adamant and rigid okay now this is what you believe no, only this is right what others are thinking is wrong you know that flexibility that coexistence is killed no 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 what you were thinking is right what others are thinking are wrong once they are successful in making you an extremist then they try to make you a terrorist because now what will happen kamal ji just imagine a mind which is separatist from others you know he cannot mingle with others he is not friends with others now he has become rigid also now he has become extremist also 
now he thinks i'm right and others are wrong so of course he would start or he or she would start feeling isolated from the entire world i do not have friends people do not understand me you know i am different from others now he would start looking for solace you know now he would start seeking okay what will make me happy what do i do now this uh, terrorists uh, you know organizations come into picture now they make you a terrorist ki okay now you, you know uh, what others do not if if others do not believe in your belief then you you this is your duty to kill them either convince them either make them like you or it is your duty to kill them and you know it is it is as a matter of duty you would be rewarded for it you know so they use that reward and punishment kind of a theory to control a muslim mind and they have that beautiful graphic image of jannat and dozak you know if you would do this you would get 72 hoods in jannat and jannat has rivers of milk and a beautiful place it is you know that kind of a lalach and greed they try to plant in your mind that if you would do what we are saying that you would get jannat and very dangerous graphic details of dozak if you would not do this then you would be fried in hot oil and you know insects would bite you snakes would bite you and they try to create that kind of a fear psychosis in a muslim mind so this is the entire process of separatism extremism and terrorism which you know they follow to radicalize and make a muslim mind a terrorist and different organizations are working for it we need to understand if we if we would just think that one day we would terminate all terrorist organizations it is not possible if we have to eliminate terrorism we would have to eliminate separatism itself you know there are many organizations many people who are making a muslim mind separatist then there are organizations which are making a muslim mind extremist then there are organizations which are making muslim minds terrorists different people are doing different jobs i would like to give you an example in europe few terrorists were caught after bombings and it was found that i think they were from al qaeda and when further investigation was done it was found that they were recruited from tablighi jamaat and tablighi jamaat can obviously get away with it by saying that i am not a terrorist organization you know you can investigate and you can find no proof against me but how and why is it a fruitful ground for a terrorist organization to recruit people you know you understand that link of separatist terrorist um, sorry separatist extremist and a terrorist these extremist organizations these separatist organizations are fruitful grounds for terrorist organizations to recruit you know so this is how they operate then there are uh, companies uh, there are organizations who are uh, there to fund their their their, their duties to their uh, uh, their part of the entire process is just to provide funds so they are doing it very systematically and very smartly and we need to understand that and um, why they do it uh, this is a question many many people ask that why they do it see these people have nothing to do with islam and these people have nothing to do with allah you know they obviously they try to blackmail your mind or manipulate your mind by saying that they're doing it in the uh, service of allah maybe and they're doing it uh, you know in to, to please allah maybe but actually it is just a political agenda they have this political agenda of making the entire world an islamic state and to rule the entire world so that agenda of islamic state can only be fulfilled if they have foot soldiers and if they have zombies and if they have robots people who cannot think on their own people do, people who do not have that rationality to differentiate between right and wrong they need suicide bombers you know mm-hmm. no rational person would go and you know just put a bomb in him or herself and just you know blow himself or herself out obviously to make a person a suicide bomber they have to you know completely brainwash and manipulate and hijack their minds that is why they do it and um, a very uh, bogus theory is there that islam is in danger you know they they always say that islam is in danger i always ask them that you are the second largest faith in the entire world how on earth you are in danger 
you know a, a, a muslim should ask them ki what is in danger you know you have put the entire world under, under danger this islamic state theory and you know this ghazwai hind has put other people in danger and you keep on repeating this theory that islam is in danger islam is in danger because if a muslim person will think that i am in danger only then he would try to protect himself only then he would try to become aggressive so that is why they do it and that's that is how they do it that is why they make this narrative against bharat because this theory of islamic state is obviously it is against the entire world against the entire humanity they want to make the entire world an islamic state but against bharat they have a specific theory of ghazwai hind you know that islamic state ki theory is uh, summarized in ghazwai hind ghazwai hind is a holy war against bharat so we an indian muslim must understand it and must fight against this with all their might if 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 you if you really think yourself as a bhartiya please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net धन्यवाद नमस्कार